Good morning, Miss Juliana. What class would you like to take? You'd like biology with Mr. Jacques? Class will begin soon. Don't be tardy. Hello, hello! My name's Jack, and I'll be your Pokémon Biology teacher. In my class, we'll all learn about the various quirks of our beloved Pokémon together. I hope you all come to love Pokémon even more from the things you learn here. In today's class, I'll teach you a great way to get to know Pokémon in more depth. If you'd like to become better friends with your Pokémon, you can let them come out of their Pokéball and walk along with you. Sounds great, huh? You can use the ZR button to throw a Pokeball and let out the Pokemon inside. Nothing cuter than watching your Pokemon run around underfoot if you ask me. Once you let your Pokemon out, try speaking to them. They're sure to respond in some way. It's a great way to get to know them better. However, letting your Pokemon out of its ball isn't such a great idea in some locations. Uh, can anyone tell me where it is that you shouldn't have your Pokemon walk along with you? <laughs> That's right! Great job, Juliana. I see you did your homework. The correct answer is that we should not walk with our Pokemon indoors. How about that? Some Pokemon might damage walls, desks, and other things walking around inside buildings. So it's not allowed regardless of the species. Therefore, please only let your Pokemon out of their Pokeballs while outdoors. Okay, everyone? I think I see them out and about in classrooms from time to time, but still. Anyway, you may become even closer friends with your Pokemon pals by walking together. Oh, I almost forgot. Keep in mind that you can only walk together with your lead Pokemon. Remember, use the ZR button to throw a ball and let out the Pokemon inside. You'll also want to remember that throwing a ball at a wild Pokemon will start a battle. It looks like that's all the time we have for today. See you all next class! Hello, hello! I hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. Did you all try using the ZR button? to let your Pokemon out as I taught you in our last class. Walking along with your Pokemon lets you see how unique and cute they all are. I'd also highly recommend picnics for when you want to spend some quality time together with the Pokemon in your party. You can get them all around the table to make sandwiches and play. It's really a lot of fun. If you want to learn about making food, Mr. Sawaro's class is the best place to go. Now, Sometimes, while you're enjoying a picnic with your Pokemon, you may find something very, very important in the basket next to your table. This very important something is what Pokemon are born from. Let's all say it together. Whew! You all got it right. The very important something I'm talking about is a Pokemon egg. It's not clear where these eggs come from, but they're probably placed in the basket rather stealthily by the Pokemon at the picnic. Walking around with an egg will help warm it, which allows it to hatch. Eggs won't warm up by sitting in boxes, though. You need to have them in your party. Oh, and here's one more super important thing I'd like you to remember about eggs. Pokemon entrust us with their eggs because they believe in us. So, I sure would be happy to see you all being responsible parents for your little Pokemon eggs. <laughs> Whoops! My most important point came right as the bell rang. Well, see you all next time, I guess. Hello, hello! I hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. 
I seem to remember teaching you all about the importance of eggs in our last class together. Ah, on that note, is everyone using their Pokédex? It registers Pokémon born from eggs, as well as those encountered via other methods. So don't you worry about that. And, uh, <laughs> just so you know, I'm the one who developed the Pokédex app. It was way before I started teaching here at the Academy, though. Back then, I was a researcher. In fact, Director Clavo wasn't working in education at the time, either. He was researching alongside me at the same facility. We got to research Pokémon together day in and day out. Those sure were some fun times. I got yelled at all the time, though. <laughs> Wait a second, how did I get onto this? Pretty sure I was talking about the Pokédex. Uh, anyway, today, I'd like to teach you about catching Pokémon. As you all know, a great way to catch a Pokémon more easily is to first lower its HP. But, there's another way to up your chances of a successful catch. Can you guess what it is? Wow! That's right, Juliana. Good job! The correct technique for making a Pokémon easier to catch is to inflict them with a status condition. Sleep is an especially effective status condition. It makes Pokémon drastically easier to catch. If you have a Pokémon that can use moves that puts opponents to sleep, like Sleep Powder or Hypnosis, filling up your Pokédex will be a cinch. There are other ways to improve your catch rate as well, like using Pokéballs, specifically designed to be effective against certain Pokémon. Eating food that gives you catching power works, too. Or sneaking up on Pokémon from behind to catch them by surprise when you start a battle. If you're having trouble, you may want to make the rounds to the gyms to get gym badges. Earning gym badges will make it easier to catch Pokémon of higher and higher levels. Please, do come show me your Pokédexes once they start to fill up. Another day, another enjoyable class. Oh yeah, don't forget, our next class will be a test. Hello, hello, everyone. Today is our midterm exam. <laughs> it sure feels good to fill in all those empty spaces on the answer sheet, doesn't it? Take your time and contemplate each question carefully. What button would you use to let a Pokemon out of its ball so that it can walk with you? A, the R button. B, the ZR button. C, the plus button. Combine one letter and one number below to correctly say when and where eggs are found. A. During picnics. 1. In tall grass. B. While walking. 2. In your basket. Which of the following is an effective way to warm up eggs? A. Going to sleep. B. Walking around. C. Battling. What will not make Pokemon easier to catch? A giving them a berry, B, surprising them from behind, C, inflicting them with poison, D, using certain kinds of Pokeballs. What will make it easier to catch Pokemon of higher and higher levels? A, certifications, B, LP, C, gym badges. This question won't affect your grade. How do you like the Pokédex? Is it easy to use? I'd be happy to hear your honest opinions. It's easy to use? It's all right? I don't use it that much. All right, everyone, time's up. I hope you all enjoyed tackling those questions. That last question was something that I'm personally curious to know. Don't tell a director about it, okay? I'll grade these right away. I hope you're all looking forward to seeing how you did.
It feels great to get a test out of the way, doesn't it? Let's take a look at your results. You must get three questions correct to pass the midterm exams and four questions correct to pass the final exams. Let's see how you did on your biology test. You answered five out of five questions correctly. That's a passing score. Congratulations. Mr. Jacques asked us to give this reward to any students who passed the exam. Keep doing your best. <laughs> Our voices shall conquer the internet.